Hey you guys, this is Nina. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for becoming one of my day one family. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers. And I'm just going to get into this story about Camilla Cabello, Cuban-American pop singer. Again, caught up in controversy. One of her dancers is accused of wearing blackface on I believe it was a Jimmy Fallon show or one of those shows so anyway I'm going to show you guys the picture it is coming up and this is actually what really bothers me about this entire situation I'm going to just try to break this down as best as I can Camilla Caballo uh, you guys already know that she used to be in a group with Normani and honestly, this group was phenomenal. I used to love watching um, this pop group. I thought each and every one of them were special. And here's the blackface picture that I'm going to touch on too in a moment. I just want you guys to see it. So, she was in a pop group with Normani. And Normani complained for years that Camilla always came after her and said, you know, cheeky things on the side, uh, talking about race, uh, talking about, you know, you know, basically, uh, you know, talking about minorities in a very bad way that made her look racist. And she did come out and apologize about this several years ago. And I honestly thought, okay, this would be the end of it. It wouldn't go no further, but once again, because Normani, I'm sorry, not Normani, because Camilla cannot seem to read the room properly. She goes on this late night show to do her uh, new single that just came out. And not being able to read the room, she has a dancer who was pictured on the left in a heavy spray tan it was supposed to be some type of 80s type of um theme personally i think she should have just stayed away from this i think had just having people dressed up as 80s themed people uh should have been good enough uh for this performance and it just again solidifies fast to everybody what normani was saying about Camilla this whole time. Baby girl does not know how to read the room or does not understand that even if you're not trying to go out your way to be racist, things you do uh, can portray you in a light which does not look good. Now, right now, social media is dragging Camilla up and down and around the street, okay? Because, again, she does not seem to understand to read the room the theme of her 80s style performance could have easily still been achieved had Camilla just you know she didn't even have to have them tanned up like that if you're already being accused of a specific activity against somebody else that is just as well known and popular it's going to keep following you for the rest of your life then she did make a statement and i was trying to get a copy of the statement she actually did come out and apologize for the guy being over tanned uh, she did also say in her statement that she did not mean it to be uh racially offensive it was just that the person that did his makeup uh, may have went a little too heavy handed and should have made him lighter and again I'm going to say that this falls down to Camilla because it don't even matter who did it it's your image on the line now something else that actually bothers me about this whole Camilla situation when I heard that she had a single coming out this girl is dating Sean Mendez another really big pop star is there any reason why they couldn't just sit in the house with a guitar and and just put a, a single out for her i mean seriously this girl is not taking 
at advantages of what she already has in her pocket. I mean, you're dating Sean Mendez. Do a song with him at home while y'all eating dinner. One of y'all play a guitar, and it'll be a smash hit. I don't understand how this celebrity cannot read the room. Now you are being labeled again a racist. Uh, you don't like other minorities darker than you. You know, it's just going to keep going on and on and on. Uh, and again, social media, I mean, the comments were so brutal. I don't even want to post them right now. It is just really brutal. Everybody is going after her. And I'm just going to say this. I personally do not think she intended this performance to be blackface. However, I will say this. I think after you have been accused of a certain behavior, I think that your squad, your makeup, your clothes, management, whoever else, they need to be on top of every single thing you're doing. Basically get ahead of the story and make sure everything appears to be up, on the up and up. You know, because only thing that's going to happen is, even if your own team is messing up, the mistake is going to come back on you, not the unknown makeup artist that did the dancer's uh, makeup. And the other point I want to make is, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just frustrated with this. I'm frustrated with her because she does put out some really good music. Normani puts out some really good music. And I'm just tired of everything. I mean, like, I don't understand how this girl can't read the room. You're messing up your own blessings and you're messing up your own pocket. I love, 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 love Camilla's last album. I like that single she put out a few years ago. It's just hard for me to buy into wanting to do things uh to to benefit her career if she keeps on not really caring about anybody else but herself so again you know uh she's caught up in more controversy social media is dragging her up and down the street for complete filth the comments have just been brutal and honestly I hope that this is a wake-up call. She has done several questionable things in the past. And I think people are just tired of it. We're in a very, very sensitive market right now. A lot of comedians have been canceled for doing way less. A lot of actors have been canceled for doing way less. And I think she need to tread on very thin water walking forward unless she wants to keep having this label because all it's going to do is mess, mess up the money. Uh, there's going to be radio stations that are going to be flooded with, with uh, hate mail or phone calls where they're going to be discouraged from promoting you, uh, you know, People that may promote her for appearances might back out. Right now, like I said, she's messing up her pocket. She needs to perhaps fire her entire team and come back uh, and do better. I think she needs to reevaluate this. And, you know, I also think she should drop a song with Shawn Mendes. This is probably the 50th time this girl has been caught up in this. I'm hoping that something rings a doorbell in her head to say like, Hey, your moment might be fleeting and you got to pull this back together. So you guys, tell me what you think about this Camilla story. Um, please give me your opinion respectfully. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy your day. And see you guys later. Bye.